So welcome back to Electric Vehicles channel my dear friends I am Krishnjitina Mandela Most of our viewers asked for a comparison video between Belling Aura and e Pluto 7G Firstly both of these electric scooters are high speed vehicles and require license and registration In this video we will do full comparison between these two electric scooter and find out the best among them Let's start comparing both of these electric scooters speed. Belling Aura's top speed is 65 km per hour whereas e Pluto 7G top speed is 60 km per hour. Now coming to the motor capacity of these two electric scooters, Belling Aura motor capacity is 2.5 kW, e Pluto 7G motor capacity is 1.5 kW. The certified range of Belling Aura is 140 km whereas the certified range of e Pluto 7G is 120 km. The battery capacity of Belling Aura is 2.8 88 kilowatt hour or 72 volt 40 amp hour whereas the battery capacity of e Pluto 7G is 2.5 kilowatt hour or 60 volt 42 amp hour now coming to the load capacity of Benling Aura the load capacity is 180 kilograms e Pluto 7G load capacity is 150 kilograms and both of these electric scooters comes with detachable battery option also the charging time of both these electric scooters is 4 hours whereas if you see the charger rating the Belling Aura charger rating is 10 amps 84 volts e Pluto 7G charger rating is 10 amps 67.2 volts in terms of curb weight 95 kilograms for Belling Aura 79 kilograms for e Pluto 7G and coming to the braking of both of these electric scooters both Belling Aura and e Pluto 7G got front disc brake and rear drum brakes and both these electric scooters having safety features like anti-theft alarm, remote lock and unlock and find my scooter option as well. And both these electric scooter battery having 3 years of warranty. Finally, the extra room price of Benling Aura is 93,200 rupees whereas the extra room price of e Pluto 7G is 80,000 rupees. So after a complete comparison between Benling Aura and e Pluto 7G, the first thing we need to look for is the pricing because everybody has some budget constraints here. Between Benling Aura and e Pluto 7G, there is a price difference of 13,200 rupees in terms of extra room price. But I confirm with the dealers in Hyderabad, e Pluto 7G on road price is 88,000 rupees. Whereas Belling Aura on road price is 97,000 rupees. So the final pricing there is a difference of 9,000 rupees between these two electric scooters. Now let's have a deeper look in terms of user perspective. The first thing we have to look for is the weight because someone wants a lighter vehicle to just uh, if they go, if they're choosing an electric scooter for their housewife or if they are uh, thin, they obviously go for a lightweight electric scooter. So in this aspect. E Pluto 7G has a weight of 79 kilograms, so it is lighter than Benling Aura. Whereas Benling Aura weight is 95 kilograms. I am telling the curb weight. Without battery, the curb weight I am I am sharing the details. So E Pluto 7G is a lighter vehicle. So now coming to the second point, which, which is the range. Uh, obviously Benling Aura has an upper hand of 20 kilometers uh, because E Pluto 7G claiming as 120 kilometers and Benling Aura claiming as 140 kilometers. So now coming to the storage capacity. Storage is also one more point like. Uh, e Pluto 7G has some storage space to keep uh, a charger whereas Benling Aura doesn't have any kind of boot space uh, the battery pack itself occupying the entire boot space as a user if you need a USB port then uh, e Pluto 7G don't have that option then Benling Aura has such option of uh, USB port so this is one more point and now coming to seat seat is also one more point like uh, if, uh, if you are slim or if you are medium weight it depends on it also a important factor to choose a particular electric scooter when compared to e Pluto 7G Benling Aura seat is a little larger you can say 1 to 2 inches difference still Benling Aura seat is a little wider so that, that is one more point so what about height every user is different from height like someone is tall someone is medium and someone is short so in terms of height e Pluto 7G electric scooter is most suitable for low height and medium height I am not saying that it is not suitable for high, uh, tall height. It is also suitable but it is more comfortable for low height and medium height. On the other hand, Benling Aura is more suitable for medium height and tall height because the electric scooter itself is a little tall. So that's the reason uh, it is more comfortable for medium and tall height people. So what about pickup? If you need a, uh, if you need a higher acceleration, obviously Benling Aura having a 2.5 kilowatt motor and the initial pickup or the acceleration is higher. So whereas e Pluto 7G gives a steady acceleration, it is having its own advantage because someone wants a steady acceleration, someone wants high, high pickup. In that way, Benling Aura having that uh, high pickup 
at the initial level. Finally, coming to the battery warranty, this is one, one important factor here. Belling Aura is providing unlimited battery warranty on its electric scooter. So, the battery pack either 3 years or unlimited warranty. So, there is no restrictions on the kilometers. Whereas, e Protus 7G is providing 3 year warranty or 40,000 kilometers on its battery pack. So, this is the complete comparison in terms of user perspective. So, after a complete comparison, I can say that both these electric scooters having its own advantages and limitations. If you want a lightweight electric scooter and obviously you can go for e Protus 7G, but if you want a high pickup electric scooter with, uh, with, which is some rugged electric scooter and uh, unlimited battery warranty, then you can go for Benling Aura. But the only difference here is 9000 rupees between Benling Aura and e Pluto 7G. But which vehicle do you like between Benling Aura and e Pluto 7G? Please mention in the comment section below. If you like this video, please share this video with your friends. Go green, go electric.